What's up, guys? Uh, I'm here with uh, Trusty Roman, and uh, we are working on the Louisiana Professional Land Surveyor Exam, uh, specifically getting licensed by comedy, since obviously I already have um, some other surveying licenses. The video today is talking about the application process. And if I had to rate the application process on a scale of one through five, dealing with the Louisiana board, I would probably rate it maybe a two in terms of quality. Why is that? Well, first of all, how do you apply to become a Louisiana land surveyor? It's an online portal. It's pretty easy to use. You can, you know, upload your documents. You can fill out the application. You can um, do other things like pay your fees. So the online portal through lapels is good. I like it. It's easy to use. It works well. Now, in order to become a Louisiana land surveyor, you've got to take a couple different online exams. So you can do the online exams first because you have to provide proof that you passed those exams as part of your individual application. Sure. Now, two of the exams were pretty easy, but the third one was quite short. And if it's 90% required passing, and it's only, you know, like 15 questions long, if you miss two of those questions, you don't pass. And I think that the exams are written pretty well, but I struggled passing the third exam because the answers sometimes were just not clear. So you fill out the online application, you do your three online exams through this kind of clunky online software at Lapel's website. Now you also have to get a firm license. Now to get your firm license, you've got to become a foreign corporation through the Louisiana Secretary of State. Let me tell you that. That was no joke. Paperwork, paperwork. Where are you registered? Where is your office? Do you have an address in Louisiana? Why don't you have a Louisiana address? Because I'm not a Louisiana licensed surveyor yet. Duh. So getting the SOS Secretary of State foreign corporation designation took weeks a lot of correspondence. Doing the online exams, all three of them, took me about, a, you know, close to a full day. Now, here's where the application gets frustrating. So, I used the NCWES record, works great, submitted it to Louisiana. They accepted my references, my experience, my previous licensure, all that. Perfect. Guess what? In most states, a, a qualified education is an ABET program. I went to a four-year ABET EAC gold standard. In other states, the requirement is a DOE, Department of Education approved program. It's DOE, New Mexico State, big institution. But here's the thing. Louisiana does not accept any of that. They want to qualify every surveying course you've taken through what's called a course evaluation form. Well, if you've been out of school like I have for 10, 15, 20 years, you have to give them the syllabus for each course, and you have to fill out the course evaluation form to match their rubric with your courses. I've been going back and forth with Louisiana Board for a month, Obviously, my four-year surveying degree is sufficient, but it's still going on to have Louisiana Board qualify my courses, and it's making me crazy. So, if you want to become a Louisiana surveyor, get ready. It's going to be time-consuming. 